Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, here on the moon to get some moons. Uh, last time we got all the moons on the A side of the moon. In this video we're going to open the moon's moon rock over there, with the big glowing spike coming out of it, and get all the moons inside the moon rock on the moon. Uh, so, let's do this. Uh, let's make our way over there. We could use a checkpoint warp to get there faster, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun to just navigate around. Uh, let's get the heart from the moon. There we go. We already had full health, so instead of giving us extra health, the life up heart gives us some coins, which is nice to have. We have plenty of coins at the moment, uh, but it's still nice. It's still nice to get some more. Okie doke. So yeah, we just want to make our way over here. Do a little cap bounce. That didn't quite work out because of the slope. There we go. Uh, so here is the moon, moon rock. We just open it up, and it'll spawn a bunch of moons on the moon for us to collect. As you can see, the two sub areas and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, now the first thing we might notice is that there's a moon up there now. As far as I know, the only way to get that is with a frog. So we'll have to bring a frog back here to do that. Uh, I don't think you can gain enough height from this thing because we're so far away. Oops. I'm trying to actually hit it. Uh, and you ground pound its head, which is why it has that uh, ground poundy symbol on its head. There we go. Spinning cap throws are good for collecting coins, as you can see. If you can manage to pull one off, which you often can't. Uh, because the controls are annoying. Uh, if you make our way over to uh, the underground caverns here, uh, there's nothing in the caverns that's been added, uh, but behind the caverns, where we would go if we were trying to do the moon cave skip, there is now a moon. Uh, if we just jump over here uh, and look up, you can see it's up there. Uh, it might be possible to reach just by doing something akin to a moon cave skip. I'm going to give that a try. Uh, if not, I'll just jump down from above. Yeah, turn to an angle. Uh... Yep, possible. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So yeah, you can just jump down from above to get that, but this way is more fun, so... We did it this way. Uh, okay, so now... We're going to head over to the uh, the wedding hall. There are two moons in that area. There's the race that we have to redo, and there's one more. Uh, which happens to be basically the same as that butterfly one and that bird one that we did earlier. Uh, there's just a little like UFO sitting there that we have to throw our hat at. I'm a little worried, but hopefully we'll be okay. I'm going to do that first, and then we'll do the race. Uh, you can see the UFO is over there, it's got a little glowing effect. Uh, there's a lot of space around it, so we shouldn't have too much trouble maneuvering. Uh, I'm going to probably use a downwards cap throw like I did before, because that seemed to work out pretty well. Let's so get nice and close, not too close. Oops. And yeah, it just flies away if you, if you get too close, just like the bird. And yeah, it's still hard to do a downwards cap through with these controls. I'm waiting too long, basically. Because uh, if you press the button, pretty much when you land, you will do a downwards cap throw. But if you wait pretty much any longer, you will roll instead. Uh... Okay, so let's make our way over here. As you can see, this UFO actually looks like the um, the boss from Steam Gardens, which is kind of strange. You can even see the flower in the middle. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Yeah, I'm having trouble timing that. Uh, maybe I'll try a regular cap throw. Nope. There we go. 
No. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we also need to do the race again, so let's do that next. It's pretty much the same as last time. We shouldn't have any trouble. Uh, this kingdom doesn't have any particularly clever skips we can do, so just do pretty much the same race as before. Uh, it's not like in um, Unforgotten Isle, where we had to basically change our strategy entirely to get up there fast enough. Uh, it's, it's easier than that. So yeah, we probably want to uh, use some of these rocket flowers if we can. Uh, we're going to see how we go. There we go. Because yeah, that speeds you up enormously, as you can see. Uh, for a while, anyway. There we go, easy peasy. We beat our previous time, Gold Cooper's not even here yet. We get the moon, easy peasy. <laughs> Blazing fast, bro. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm gonna grab the frog so we can do the frog one. Uh, I believe there's only one frog in the kingdom, which is the one at the back here. Uh, we'll get to it shortly. There we go. And basically, we have to just bring it back to that spot we saw earlier with the moon up real high. <sighs> oh, hang on. Gotta do this too. I forgot about that. Um, okay, I'm just gonna ditch the frog for the moment. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta talk to Peach up here uh, in order to get another moon. Oh, look how cute Tiara is. I love her. Uh, yes, I would love a power moon from outer space. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, I'll go get the frog again. Uh, it will have respawned down here, so we can just make our way down there. There we go, now we're a frog. Uh, you move fairly slowly as a frog, you can hold Y to dash, but it doesn't speed you up very much. So I wouldn't recommend using a frog unless you absolutely need to jump ridiculously high on the moon. And I include the part where you say on the moon there, because this, in normal play, like, you don't need the frog jump uh, using regular Mario jumps is more than sufficient and probably more fun. Uh, but the frog is necessary for this one moon, as far as I know. I don't think there's any other way to gain that much height. Hmm. I'm gonna be careful here, because if you fall off, you have to do this all again. And the frog is slow, so that would be annoying. But yeah, you can see you just gain incredible height with a single jump here. So it should not be any kind of hassle to make your way up to the moon using this this Frogo technology. As you can see, easy peasy. Oh, we missed it. Oh my god! <laughs> I should not have said it was easy. Uh, clearly that, that cursed me as usual. Um, wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we respawn at the race. Okay, I'll get the frog again and just redo what I just did. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm using a homing throw because the frog is so small and it's in a crater, so it's really hard to 
throwing my cloak happy low enough without homing down. Uh, There's no, like, fall damage in the game at all, but as a frog, you don't even break your legs when you fall really far, which is kind of interesting. As Mario, you can break your legs, but only for a few seconds, and then they just magically heal. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. Um, a bit. Goodness. Frog is so slow. Frog is so slow. It's very annoying how slow this frog is. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So the moon's called jumping high as a frog. I have a feeling that's the only way to do it. Um, a lot of moons, the name doesn't necessarily mean that's the only way you can do it. Like the jet stream ones, for example. But I think in this case. You need a frog to do it, which is a bit sad. Alright, uh, there's a couple more moons we can get. Uh, there's a timer challenge. Ooh. Oh, this timer challenge. I'm a little worried now I think about this one. Um, basically, uh, you put Cappy on the Scarecrow here, as you normally do for a timer challenge. Uh, preferably, you know, correctly. There we go. And the moon just spawns over there. So you have to do a couple of long jumps, basically. Uh, but because of the restrictions we're working under, we are going to have that problem. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Um, but this may be a bit tricky. Uh, I'm going to warp over there so we're a bit closer. Um, and we respawn over at Ringing Bells Plateau instead. Uh, remember to touch the flag once you spawn there, so it actually marks you your spawn point as being there. So yeah, I'm a little concerned about this. Um, The bonking slows you down a lot, which is part of the problem, really. Uh, let's go back over there and try again. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, that wasn't as much trouble as I thought it'd be. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was pretty easy, actually. Okay. I was a little scared, but it was okay. Okay, what do we still have to do? There's two sub-areas. Um, plus, we have to do the walking again. Uh, plus, there's another moon in that 2D section. Uh, I guess we'll do this sub-area first, since it's the closest. Uh, as you can see, uh, the 2D subsection, there's a travel cleft there now, on that high platform. So we're going to need a way to get up there. I think we may need to use two-player mode to get enough height uh, and distance. Because it's very hard to build up momentum while travelling backwards in 2D. And there isn't any really way to turn around in there. Because there aren't any platforms you can drop off safely. Uh, like there are in most 2D sections. Um, I'll experiment, see if I can do it other ways once we get over there, but for now, we're doing this. Oh, this one! I like this one. Uh, we still have moon gravity here, which is cool. Uh, and it's basically a platforming challenge based around these swinging things. And I like it. <laughs> uh, there's two moons to be had here. You can see one of them up there, and the other one's just at the end. Since we have Cappy, there's not much to worry about here. We should be fine. Uh, we may fall a couple of times, but I'm not too concerned. As you can see, you can get on top of most of these swings without too much hassle. Uh... Ooh. 
Whoa. <laughs> and you want to get on top of this swing, actually. So we're just gonna... There we go. Easy peasy. And then do another jump to get on top of this swing. And there's the moon. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So that's easy peasy. Uh, the other one is a little trickier because, as you can see, the swings are positioned a little bit differently and you have to make your way across all of them to get to the moon, basically. Uh, uh, do, not, do not do that, uh, but you can save yourself if you accidentally do that, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, because of the low gravity and Cappy's amazing platforming skills, because she is the true hero of this game, uh, this is pretty easy. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Um, I really like that sub area. It's not very hard, but I, I think it's a really fun idea, and I enjoy the way the gravity is low all the way through. It it's fun. It's fun. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we have to do the trace walking again. I guess I'll do that next, because that's the next one as we walk around here. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. We need a higher score, obviously, but... As we've seen so far, trace walking is something we're kind of an expert at because of the waddling rules. Since we can't move any faster than that, we end up walking very precisely, just by default. <laughs> and I'm just going to grab another of these because we fell down a few times. There we go. Okay, so here's the trace walking Cooper, who has a helmet, by the way. Oddly enough. Okay, so, yeah, we've just got to walk in a circle again. Um... Alright. So we want to veer around there. Alright. That little bit of the ridge there is a bit tricky, because uh, you usually get a weird bit of misshapen path when you do that, but it's okay. This may take a couple of tries, or we might get it the first try. So yeah, if this had been a star, this would be really, really hard, but it's a circle, so it should be okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah! <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so all we have left now is that sub-area on top of the platform there where Talker 2 is, and that 2D moon in the sub-area over there, and then we'll be done. Uh, yeah, Honey Loon Ridge isn't that big, really. There's only 38 moons here. Compared to some kingdoms, that's not many. So up here, where Talker 2 is, there's also now a sub-area we can enter. There we go. Uh, this is a 2D sub-area. I'm a little worried. Uh, we'll see how we go. You can see we're going to come out of a vertical pipe over there, so... It's a little bit different to other vertical pipes in that it's upside down. Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure which way to tilt the stick. The crouching direction actually changes on the analog stick, depending on which way you're facing on these um, rotational things. I may have a little trouble getting in there. Um... Okay, there we go. Uh, you can see the gravity shift as I jump out of these spheres. Uh, yeah, that's the main gimmick here. It's sort of, it's sort of a galaxy reference, I guess. Uh, that the gravity is is based on the gravitationalness. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, but we'll see how we go. I am a little worried uh, because of the fact that we have to jump and we keep leaving the gravity spheres when we do that. Um, we might, we might be okay. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, if you look up there, you can see there's those other two spheres just sort of rotating in the sky. We have to get up there to get the other moon. 
Uh, I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I think we might be okay, though. Maybe. We'll see how we go. Hmm. Maybe tricky to get enough momentum to get up get up there. Uh... Now facing the wrong way, which won't, can't help. Uh... Let's just slide off this block to get to get around the right way, I guess. Yeah, or we just run into that Koopa. You know, whatever you want to do is fine. Uh, yeah, that's the only edge facing the right way that we can slide off. So, let's have the Koopa move out of the way again. Oh my God. There we go. Okay, we're not facing the right way again. Uh, maybe we can do this. I don't know how doable this is. You have to build up quite a bit of momentum is the problem. Uh, in order to get up there. Uh, no. We may need to use two-player mode for this, which would be annoying. Um, but understandable, considering the circumstances. Yeah, I think you need to be running in order to get up there fast enough. And I don't think we can do that. Alright. <sighs> two-player mode it is, again. Mario, Cappy, Cappy. Got to recrouch when you switch the controllers around. So, Rubber Band just got away. I have a feeling we'll need two-player mode for the other, the other um, area as well. So I'm not gonna exit it straight away when we're done here. But I won't use it straight away if I can think of another way to do this. Oh, still not enough. I think with the right timing, that'll work. Uh, and the rubber band came off again. It's just gotten, it's just gotten all slippery. Uh, oops. There we go. All right. I'm controlling the Procom with my left hand, uh, kind of uncomfortably, and the uh, single Joy-Con with my right hand at the moment. <laughs> uh, that does give us enough height, uh, I just have to time it better. And I don't know how to do that because the camera isn't being cooperative. Okay, there we go. Rubber band slipped again. Turn me around, please. There we go. Alright. No! Yeah, that'll work. I just don't know what the right timing is. I wonder if I can get on top of that ledge. That would help. Turn around, please. Thank you. Okay, uh, from here it should be easy. Uh, but I don't think I could have done that without the Cappy Hover from two-player mode. Anyway, once you're up here, you can see... Oh! Oh! Okay, this may still be a bit tricky. Um, 
Let's wait till this one's around the top and then just jump at the right spot instead of having to move around. Oh no! Hmm. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I think the other moon will be a lot easier, so we're gonna do that now. Uh, once we manage to get out of this gravity well. Uh, which we may eventually do. And the rubber band slipped off again. It's clearly just gotten very slippery. Okay, so what you meant to do here, you just get this Cooper. Bop. Uh, I'm not using Player 2's controller now. It's still active, but I'm not pressing the button, so nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, you just get the Cooper to clear the path there. And you can just drop down here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, and that's both moons. Uh, we needed two player mode for one of them, we didn't for the other one. So, 50-50, I guess. And we did it while permanently crouching, so that's cool. Uh, Alright, so... We have one more moon to get, which is the Notes moon, in the other 2D area, the one that was already here. It's just down here. It's easy to enter this 2D area, you just do that. And your rubber band slips off again. Yeah, something something's not right about this. There we go. Okay, so... Easy enough to do the first part here and just get the moon, because you don't have to jump backwards. Uh, my rubber band slipped off again. Uh, let me see if I can fix this. Okay, I think that should stay put, maybe? Mm, maybe. I think that's a little better. Alright, so, yeah, this part, not too tricky. I uh, just hop across here, and hop up there, get the moon. Uh, the tricky part is getting up there. Uh, and I feel we need Cappy's hovering to do that. So, two-player mode is still active, and I'm gonna use it to get up there, because I don't think we can do it otherwise. Yeah, definitely we couldn't. Ooh, maybe we can't even with Cappy's hovering. That would be something. Uh, let's see. Um, since we're in two play mode anyway, I'm gonna use it to turn around. There we go. Now we should be able to build up a bit more momentum. Yes! Okay, we're up there now. We can get the last three purple coins, which is nice. There's also some notes to get. Uh, as you can see, the notes would not be hard if we could get up here, but we can't get up here, so they're hard. Oh my god, am I gonna mess up the notes? I am, I messed up the notes. Oh my god. Alright, let's back up and try that again. We do need the double jump from Cappy's Hover to get up there in the first place, by the looks of things. And some momentum from Mario jumping as well, actually, which is ridiculous. There we go. Alrighty, let's try that again. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so even with two-player mode, this is still very hard. Uh, so, to be so, in case you think that's cheating or something, it's it's not. It's just making it possible. But it doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> uh, purple coins stay collected, right? Yeah, they do. So, yeah, we just have, uh, just have the, the moon to worry about here. The last moon on the moon. Well, the last moon in Honey Loon Ridge, anyway. Uh, don't worry about taking a hit here, because grabbing that moon will heal us up. There we go. Alright. Time to do ridiculous two-handed platforming shenanigans with two controllers.
Because, yeah, we cannot make that jump otherwise. That's a really good start. It's so, okay if we take a hit, not to worry about that. No. Ah, seriously? Okay, um... Not a lot of time to work with, which is one of the reasons this is hard. Um, no. <sighs> like as you can see, I'm still using Cappy's hover quite a bit, and it's hard. <laughs> I think it's possible. Uh, I I think I can pull this off. It's just, it's just hard. Uh, I'm gonna hit the checkpoint on the Odyssey to throw a little bit closer. So going in the pipe, easy peasy, compared to going in some pipes, which I thought was not doable, but it was doable. <laughs> okay, then to do this bit, we need a cappy hover to turn around. Um, we need a couple more copy cappy, and we need another cappy hover to get enough height here. No, it didn't even work, so that's great. Um, Alright. Close, close. Uh, I'm spamming Cappy Hovers at this point because it's just that difficult. Um, but I think we can pull it off with two player mode enabled. Alright. Yes! Okay, so, obviously that would not be possible in one player mode, but in two player mode, it is possible. <laughs> and with that, the Moon Kingdom is 100% complete. Uh, we're just gonna pop by the shop now, uh, and buy the purple things, because we have all the purple coins, we may as well spend them. Uh, also, I'm going back to one player mode, because that's finally done. Uh, just recrouch, there we go. Okay, so we we'll just pop into the shop here and buy all the purple things. The purple things include a space helmet, which you would think we would need to go to the moon in the first place, but apparently not. Uh, and a space outfit and a sticker. There we go. Okay, so that's everything bought. At this point, uh, we have collected the contents of every moon rock in the game. Uh, they're all complete. There are no more moon rocks to open, so we've done all of that. Um, we've gotten almost every moon in the game. There's a few that I think are impossible. Uh, these two here. Uh, that one there. Uh, 
This one isn't impossible. That's just the, that's the secret path. We'll be doing that shortly. Uh, that one is impossible. Uh, one of these is impossible. We'll be getting the other one. Uh, I believe we have all the purple coins from the entire game. Yes, we do. Almost. <laughs> uh, there's one more kingdom that we have to get purple coins from. Uh, but we have done all of the story kingdoms at this point. There's a few little, there's a few moons we can wrap up later on, uh, which we'll be doing in the next couple of videos. Uh, but apart from that, the uh, the story kingdoms are all done, as insofar as they can be. There are five moons I consider to be impossible, uh, and those moons are uh, Dancing with New Friends from Tostarina, uh, a relaxing dance from Bublane, uh, Bench Friends from New Donk City, and two uh, folding screen moons in Bowser's, Bowser's castle. Uh, the first two are impossible because you can't activate them while, while crouching because you need to be sitting down or standing to activate the cutscene. And the last two are impossible because I can't enter that 2D area. Um, there may be a way to do it, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think there is. Anyway, uh, we're going to cash in these moons. This kingdom is 100% complete. Go us. Uh, And we're going to move on to the next kingdom. Yes, there's another kingdom. Uh, once again, if you don't want spoilers, stop. But, I mean, this is the B-side for the last regular kingdom in the game. So, at this point, if you're still watching, you're probably expecting some spoilers. Uh, because we're headed to... Peach's Castle. <laughs> Woohoo! Shouldn't have skipped that. Here we are, Peach's Castle. Uh, there's a lot to do here. Uh, if I look at the moon list, you can see there's uh, 43 moons. There's actually more than 43 moons, uh, which we'll, you'll see why in a moment. Uh, there's no moon rock here, so we don't have to open a moon rock in order to get the moons, but there's a lot to do here and a lot of activities to partake in. There are purple coins here, which we will be collecting. Uh, there's a whole bunch of challenges here, which we'll be taking on. Uh, some of it's going to be really tough, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking on Peach's Castle. <laughs> oh my god.